This afternoon I've been getting things ready to go to the British Museum as part of the Gold Analysis Project. So uh, what kind of objects will actually be going to the British Museum? So we've got mostly um, bits of sword. I can show you a couple of my favourites. Um, this one's particularly nice. might show you underneath the microscope. So this is a particularly lovely pommel cap. As you can see, it's got both the main types of the hoard design on the same object. So we have both the filigree as a, probably a very stylized animal, maybe a snake in there. And we have the lovely, very small cut garnets as well. It's quite a very delicate piece for a pommel cap. And so when you say they're going to do gold analysis, um, what exactly is it they're, they're looking for with the gold? They're going to see what alloys they are, both on the surface and su on the subsurface. So they'll make a very small little mark and from that they'll be able to tell if the gold on the surface of the object is the same as the gold inside the main body of the object. So we're looking at a sword pyramid now? So it is, we're looking at a sword pyramid. This one still has a little bit of soil left inside, but these ones are quite interesting in their construction. As you can see in this image, there's a little bit of green on the edge. And actually this object has been made in two pieces. So the inside is a cast little pyramid. And then on the outside, they've applied these decorative gold and garnet shells essentially to them. So at the moment there, I'm showing them the base of the, the pyramid there yeah. so they can see this, this inner core. Yeah, and around. you want to put a little, probably a little string of leather or cord through that to hold it onto your belt, possibly your mm. scabbard. So again, although this has got the garnets inlaid into it, it's the actual gold analysis of this type of object that they're, they're going is. to be testing. Yeah, as we're looking at the, they're looking at a range of different objects, so making sure that we get a variety of objects to see if they're, um, they're creating the same kinds of alloys for each kind of object, or we might be able to see that the different objects, say the pommel caps or the hilt plates, they're doing different things to their gold. Okay. And is that important to the researchers as it might indicate different workshops or techniques? Or? Both those things. It could indicate workshops. It could also indicate how they were able to do things like solder. Um, perhaps it's telling us something technological about how they made these things. Okay. So what we'll do now is we'll send these off to the British Museum with the courier. And in a few months' time, we'll get some results back. And all, um, to this point, they've done about 150 objects. So we'll have about 200 objects overall to have a look at to see how, how they were doing it, how they were making their gold, and what that means for the larger research picture.